Everything I've loved in this world And even the curse that fell on me too Hello everybody, Infernape Shinjo here and we are back with more reactions but there's a little bit of a twist with it. So I was informed that Man on the Internet is rebranding their channel in a sense and they're going through legendary Pokemon and doing musical renditions of their battle themes. So today I'm going to go through the first four that they've posted, Mewtwo, Ho-Oh, Groudon Kyogre, and Garatina, and react to all of them and then I'm going to rank each one at the end and pick my favorite. If you like this idea, leave a comment down in the comment section about it. And let's get into it. Mewtwo's first. Oh. Okay. Alright. Ooh. I'm not I'm not familiar with this person's voice, Chris Karasi, but they really do a good uh parody of Mewtwo's voice from the movies. That's really cool. Ooh, that high note. Okay. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah? I hope they bring references to the clones in it. Okay. Oh my gosh, a reference to the theme song too? Oh. Ooh. This voice has a bit of a rasp that I really like. Oh yeah, he is 150, that's true. Okay. Yeah, that's Mewtwo's whole personality that he thinks humans are all evil and Ash changes his mind because of course he does. Or at least in the anime he does. Also, oh! That was Mel Metal. That's a nice reference to Let's Go. That's cool. All right. Yeah. What is this voice transitioning into? Oh, it's the two voices together. That's what it is. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so don't mind me, I'm a literal dunce, so I had issues with watching this first one, and I paused OBS to fix it up, I reacted to the rest of this video, and I just now realized that I was still paused. So, yeah, you gotta just trust me that I watched the rest of the Mewtwo battle. Basically, the big highlight that I want to take away from this is, he does the quote from the movie. He does the quote of, I see now the circumstances of one's life are irrelevant. And Mewtwo basically just um, reverts at the end of the song to say, hey, humans are not actually bad. But it's hard for me to actually rank this entirely because I don't know what the other ones are going to sound like. I think just based off of Mewtwo alone and the lyrics that they had, I'm going to give it 7.5 out of 10. It's not bad. It's just that I don't know what's going to be coming later. I might change my ranking, but I don't know. Up next, we have Ho-Oh, and this one is with Juno songs, and I remember Juno songs from other songs that I reacted to. Let's get into this. Ooh. I'm more of a fan of Lugia myself, but ho is pretty cool, too. Okay. Oh, I just realized this is like a reference to the Komodo Sisters. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like how they incorporated the little intro part. <gasps> Flame, rain, and lightning. A reference to the beast in the tower. And of course, sacred fire, Ho-Oh's special move. Yeah? Okay. I don't want to... What is that? That is not a ho-ho. Okay. 
Ooh, this is so eerie and ominous! Okay. Oh, that's cool. That's cool in context because you basically fight Toho at the very end of your game. I don't want to say too soon, but I think this might surpass Mewtwo. Just from that intro part. Oh, reborn reference to reincarnation, Phoenix. Cool. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay, he's referencing it. Okay. The legendary dogs or beast, whatever you want to call them, I don't care. You're using a token tick. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess you can't really get a shiny stone, so that's fair. Okay. Wait, what? What does that even mean? I'm looking it up. Um. Namu. Mioho. Okay, I saw it. I saw it. Okay. It, whoa, what is this? It comes from Sanskrit meaning to devote or dedicate oneself, thus a vow, an expression of determination to embrace and manifest our Buddha nature. Okay, so devotion. Okay, that's really cool, especially with ho -Oh. That's really, that's a really nice touch. Okay, anyway, let's get back into that, this. I didn't realize I was going to be learning something today. Okay. Ashes, haha. Okay. This is actually pretty cool. Although at the same time, it'd be a bit hard to do Lugia after this because the the song is almost essentially the same. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool that he finally accepts the trainer after he throws a Pokeball. That's really cool. Oh, that's it. Okay. That's really cool how so far with these two, it focuses on the legendary essentially accepting the trainer, which is a really nice twist that I really like. But we're not done just yet because now we have Groudon and Kyogre. Or Groudon versus Kyogre? I guess they do have the same battle theme, so it makes sense. So let's get into this. I just realized my volume was down. Okay. And this is featuring Alex Beckham and Emily Go. Oh! What? What? Oh, right, I forgot. I didn't rank the Ho Ho one. Um, 8 out of 10. What is this voice? This is really... Okay, a reference to a special move. This voice is so wild. I love it. Okay. Oh, okay. This voice is so ominous. Okay. Okay, so this is all just focusing on their uh, special technique, I guess to put it. Rain versus heat, yeah. Oh, they both, okay, okay. All right. Okay. Oh. 
Okay. Ooh. That's cool. Okay. Ooh, I like when they sing together. That's really cool. Okay. And this is actually wild that this one so far doesn't seem to be focused on the trainer capturing it. It's more just them facing off against each other. That's really neat. Although they're singing the same parts over and over again, it's just overlapping. Still pretty neat. Alright. Ooh. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Alright. That's not bad. I think the thing that I was a little bit upset about is it started off well with Grotto just coming in being super wild, but at the end of it was just them singing together, which I really like, but they just kind of sing the same parts over again, over and over. It's not bad. It's just kind of underwhelming, especially since it started out so powerful. I think... I think this one is going to be a 7.5 out of 10 as well. If they wouldn't have sang the same parts over again, it might be higher. But considering that's on par with Mewtwo, I feel like that's not exactly a disservice. But we are finishing this up with Giratina. And the, like the other ones, this one has a singer on it. And this is called, they're called Pudgeon Productions. I don't know what I'm expecting to get in this one. Okay. Oh! Oh, that's cool! I didn't realize Giratina would have an accent, but okay! And he's just gonna- yup! Oh! Wah! Okay! Oh my gosh, what is... Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Alright. Yeah, that's Garatina in a nutshell. The video is really helping it, honestly. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is just... I've been talking about how these have been ominous. This is... My gosh. I don't... I have never heard of Pudgeon Productions, but I feel like they could sing some very sick power metal songs. Okay. Okay, yeah, he Giratina was banished. Okay. Shadow Realm? <laughs> Oh, referencing Arceus. Okay. All right. Oh, amidst. Okay, I was wondering what that little apostrophe was there for. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking if there would be a reference to how you could reference Giratina's item that he can hold, but it's just called the Greasy Absorb, so that'd be kind of hard to fit into a lyric. 
Okay. Okay. Dream and Nightmares? Is that a reference to Darkrai? Because Darkrai is in the same generation. Okay. 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 Yeah? Okay. Oh, they, he might have been referencing gods to Dialga and Palkia, not exactly Arceus. I don't know. I guess it could be, because Giratina is supposed to be god. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so... This is... How do I put this? Because I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat this at this point. Giratina's was an absolute 8 out of 10. So, Garatina's is absolutely my favorite. Second place is Ho-Oh's. ho, -Oh's. ho -Oh's was good too, but just the power metal sort of voice that Pudgeon brings in was just really wild. And considering Garatina's a fan favorite legendary, you had to bring that power into it. But yeah, this was a really fun video, and I hope you enjoyed as well. If you did, hit that like button down below. If you want me to do this again with other channels, then... Let me know down in the comment section, and I'll see you next time. Momentai.